Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to be unboxing our November, I know it's December, <laughs> Ipsy box. And I am bare face, so I'm hoping in this one is makeup. I did a trend mood one and it was all skincare. But I'm hoping this one is makeup so we can do a little makeup tutorial. But let's go ahead and unbox it. As you can see, it's still in the bag. And as always, you'll have all the details below in the description boxes as far as how much it costs and all that but this time we get oh, a very cute color blocked bag we're coming out with some really cute bags i ended up with a ton of the little ones the ones that only came with samples i had i have so many of those little i don't even know what i did with them <laughs> all right so let's see what's in this month's well last month's last month's ipsy box it says hashtag blessed this month take a moment to notice the beauty that surrounds you when you focus on the little things first swipe of a new lipstick a diy manny video chatting with an old friend you'll find you're rich in reasons to be thankful all right so first item up for bit no i'm just kidding um full-time eyeshadow palette and this one is from complex Co complex Co culture I thought it said couture. Complex culture. Interesting. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand. So, ooh, very fancy packaging. All right. Look at this, got like a sil little silver thing. So it's really nice packaging. Nice and heavy. And we've got a nice, ooh, a nice mirror. And this is what the palette looks like. So it's really beautiful, nice neutrals. It's long wearing shades that are perfect for work and play. And then uh, it says here, they strategically group the shades into three super simple looks and pair them with our three hero eyeshadow brushes so you can get gorgeous in less time and with complete confidence. Let's start with our eyes since we pulled out the eyeshadow palette and it's perfect for in case we have any fallout. So I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have applied my eyebrows, and I also went ahead and primed my eyelids with the Pro Longwear Paint Pop, and the color is Painterly. So I'm gonna go in with Brunch, which is the center one. It's more like a peachy pink, and I think it goes well with my top. I'm gonna grab this fluffy brush. It's a Detail Blending E27 by Sigma, and just go and start this right on the crease. I'm just going to put that right there. All right, look at how pretty that is. It is a very beautiful kind of peachy pink. And I really like this color. It's so soft. It definitely is for brunch, <laughs> like it says. So before I go ahead and finish up the eye, what I want to do first is kind of map out. I saw a trick on how to apply eyeliner to kind of help you with a hooded eye, kind of help you map out where the best area is, especially if you're gonna go in with soft colors like this. I think it looked, I was watching Hindash. I don't know if you've seen him before, or watched his YouTube videos, really good makeup artist. And he starts with outlining regular coal pencil, and then he kind of shapes the eye and then keeps going with the other eyeshadow. So let's try it out. See how I match it up with my eyebrow? So kind of do that. So I'm gonna start right there. And see how I mapped out that like a little L? So what I'm gonna do is take a little brush, M213. And what I'm gonna do is really bring, just kind of really um, smudge that out as much as I can. So really just smudging this eyeliner. And then I'm bringing it up this way to kind of create that beautiful shape that we see on models. We can achieve it too. <laughs> so just kind of smudge, smudge. And I like the Wayne Goss eye eyeliners because they're super creamy and it's really easy to smudge them out. Then we can go in with this other one called, what's this one, Caramel. The center one. I'm gonna take the Morphe M506, which is my little small brush that I like a lot. And make sure there's no 
color already on it because I use it a lot. I need like 10 more. <laughs> and put it on there and just kind of go over what I worked with with the pencil is to get it nice and blended as much as you can so it doesn't look patchy. And then I'm going to take the shimmer, the bottom one, and this one is called Copper. And I'm gonna use my finger. Then if you want, you can always just clean up the edge of the shimmer. Okay, so now that I have the other eye done, then I'm gonna use this, this like peachy color. I know it's part of the other row, but I wanna use that for my, uh, you know, my brow bone up here. I'm gonna take this little brush. It's more of a packing flat brush, but I think it'll fit nicely right there. Well, this eyeshadow turned out that they're really nice eyeshadows. And I really like this peachy tone. So let's go ahead and see what else is in the, in our it's Ipsy Glam Bag Plus uh, Tracique face visage. And it looks like a big old pencil, but I'm assuming it's a bronzer, yep. That is a bronzer right there. So we can start to map out, we can do the bronzer before, it just has to be heavier. So kind of a contouring type of situation. So like that. And I know it's gonna look crazy, but bear with me. And it says it has a brush. I like the color, it's more on the caramely side. Oh yeah, it's got a little brush there. All right, so let's see what else we got in the Ipsy Glam Box, Glam Bag. And now we have Tracy Good Vibes Mascara Curler and Lash Enhancing. Enhancing. I've tried this one before and it's just, I have this one and it curls. You got a curler up here and I'll show you I've got an open one already because Epsy. <laughs> this is kind of what it looks like but I'll use it in just a minute so you guys can see what it what it does but I'm not gonna open this one as usual I'll throw that in a giveaway once I have duplicates then I throw the rest in the giveaway now what do we have here oh so now we got our foundation and this is wander nude illusion liquid foundation I like it this is color light hopefully it, it matches my skin so we'll see Oh, so it's kind of like a big doe foot applicator. Whoa, big doe foot applicator. Whoa. <laughs> that splattered everywhere. Okay. All right, so it smells like berries. All right. <laughs> now that I got spots all over my face, let's try half with my foundation brush. Half of my face and see how, what kind of finish we get. That's a nice foundation. Really like it. It's a very nice foundation. So far it looks really nice. Let's try the other side with a beauty sponge. And press it into the skin. It feels very sat satiny. Is that a word? It feels like a very satin finish. <laughs> very silky. So I like it. And it's not too heavy. It's a very light coverage. All right, good job, Wander. Then I want to try out the Tracique. I think that's what it's called, Tracique. And this is what it comes like. And it's got this, so it's got this little gadget right here. So see, this is what you do your eye, your eyes with. So apparently you put it like this, but it's, this part here is so short, even though it's curved. See how it's curved? But this is so short that it's not very comfortable to use. So you kind of have to do it in, in spurts. Or in sections, I mean, not spurts. Then you have, this is the wand. It's nice and curved. Oops. Nice and curved wand or spoolie and just kind of bring it in there and 
it's a definitely an interesting product. I like the mascara part of it, but I don't like the curler. It's kind of, I don't know, gimmicky to me because it's not very easy to use. For lips, we have from the same company, Complex Culture, and it looks like it's a lip, what's this? This uh, six-in-one lip tint provides sheer buildable color while pampering your lips with creamy hydration and smoothing benefits. All right, let's see. Oh, that looks fancy. Check it out. Just like the eyeshadow case. Very fancy. All right. Oh, wow. Well, definitely very smooth and creamy and hydrating. And it's just like, a, like it says, it's a lip tint. It looks really, really pretty. So <clears throat> I do need some blush. Let me go grab some blush because there's no blush in here. The next day. I'm going with a cream blush. And this one is from Honest Beauty. Really, really nice cream blush. Since I know this, uh, form, this formula looks to be a little bit more on the matte side. So I'm not going to use any powder. I don't need any more mattification. <laughs> I'm just going to take my brush and use the cream. So I look, especially on camera, I look really pale. So this is the Ipsy Glam Bag. I thought it was really nice. And it had, you know, a lot of really nice products in this one, November. And before you know it, you'll be, uh, I'll be filming December's. <laughs> so if you like this video and you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel. Share it with your friends and whoever you think might enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.